Daddy. That was good, huh? It's so much fun when you can hear the. <laughs> <laughs> we got we're, we have more of a setup. If we'll have to show the setup. I think mean, we should have got a video of it last time. We got curtains now mm-hmm. that like blocks the sound. Our microphones should sound better. Yeah. We got decorations in the back. We got old Ireland up there. Oh, freaking Ro- Roman's in that we picture. We'll have, to, we'll have to put that up there. That's when the first time I competed against Roman was in 2019 in he Ireland. Looks, you look like the yeah. same size as him. But yeah, and he's on the freaking third or second place podium. Oh, yeah, that's why. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> we're the same height. No, you just... That's you how I qualified for my first games was like in Ireland. Your, your legs are like the same size, like your arms. He looks small. We need an Australian yeah. flag up there. I was training at your gym. Yeah, <laughs> classic OG, baby OG. Came back from that trip. What year Let's was not that? talk about that. What year was Zach that? Zach tore his back the day I got back. <laughs> I literally got back at like 6 a.m. And I was like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do today? I want to go see my friend Zach. Yeah. So I like literally landed, dropped off my suitcase, drove to the gym, and Zach was just chilling. He was about to hit a bench press session. He was going to do 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 bench. And I think you're on your set of four. Set of four. Set of four on his second Four's rep. my lucky number. Not, not Zach's. Not my <laughs> <laughs> literally, and I was like just hanging out. I was like spotting them, but it was like at 245, right? Yeah. And I was like, I mean, obviously it's a decent amount of weight, but like nothing where Zach wasn't going to get it. And I was just chilling, kind of like halfway spotting them. And it literally sounded like a, like a thud. Like, like, like a, like a, I don't know. I don't even know what it was, dude. It was the craziest sound. (laughs) It was like you like punch someone like that, like a thud. And, dude, the bar just, like, dropped on his chest. I, like, lifted it off of him. And it was, like, the crazy. He went through, like, every single type of emotion. Yeah. It, was, it was literally, like, yeah. he was. Yeah, you explain it. Oh, I, I went into shock. I didn't know it was until after the fact. But I was, like, <laughs> boom. Ah, ugh. Like, I thought Justin hit me, like, to, like, pump me up. I was, like, oh, that was weird. Like, in my brain, as it's, like, going down like this, I was, like, why is it not going up? And then I, th- I was like, how did Justin hit through the bar in my chest that hard? Like, it's weird. That's a weird angle. What did he do? And then once they, like, came down, he grabbed it off. I, like, got up and was like, oh, like, I tore my pec. I felt it. I tore my pec. He's like, are you good? I'm like, nah, man, I tore my pec. And then <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm starting to get a little bit He went tired. and, like, sat down. Yeah, like, I'm getting a little bit tired. I should sit down. I sit down. And then I was like. Yo, I'm low key, like hella thirsty, Justin. Like, I'll get you some water. And I was like, Yo, I'm so hungry. Like within ten seconds, everything. Yeah, changed. and then just like drenched in sweat, I'm, like like beads, yeah, all over his face. It was I'm like, all right, it's a uh, hospital time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, itinerary for this, we're gonna try to, we're gonna go back and look through some of Dave's old open clues because they never make any sense to me, to be honest. But. <laughs> Zach went through and he kind of found like probably like almost 10 of them, like seven to 10 of the clue. And then he showed like wrote the workout and we're going to go see if we can kind of put um, like see which ones make sense to us and then see if like we can kind of find a pattern about how he's doing it and then make another guess based off the clue. Since last time we did this, he didn't release a clue yet. So. Let's start, dude. Zach, you kick it off because you are the one that did the research. Well, I will say this about Senor Castro is I thought it was going to be easy to just go to, like, scrub through old Instagram posts and find, <clears throat> you know, the posts from every March or February. Yeah. But he deleted all his old stuff, which is interesting. Probably because he got fired. <laughs> I mean, I probably. True. I, I don't know. He got fired and brought back to home. life. But he, he had, uh, like, a couple posts from different parts like, yeah like one post from 2017 um but then you just you know you start trolling through the internet and you find some you find some stuff but a lot of people had these on reddit threads and different stuff but yeah we found some um, dude i don't even remember some of these which like i was like dude even some for like last year i was like i, I don't even remember, remember some of them because most of them were before i was around. yeah yeah when did you start Ellie? crossfit yeah first open what first was open was 2018 I started it in July of 2017. Well, let's, we'll start with the ones before, and then we'll get into ones that she's been in. Do you so want to go chronological? Or? Let's, let's, just, just, let's just go down the list. Let's go down the list from the top. Okay. 16.4 was, do you want to do the workout first and then talk about it? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sixteen. Well, Dallas will do his thing and put the. Yeah, yeah. I know, but sixteen point four. Uh, was complete as many rounds and reps as possible in 13 minutes of 55 deadlifts, 55 wall ball shots, 55 cow row, 55 handstand push-ups. They also retested this workout, was it 2019? I, I don't remember redoing this. Yeah, no, they, they, they tested it. This is the first workout I did. Oh, no. I no. didn't think. I, I, I'm getting it mixed up. I got it mixed up with uh, the 50s with the dumbbell lunge, box yeah, step yeah, up, yeah, handstand yeah. push-up. Yeah. Anyways, don't. Forget what I just said. But it's in 13 minutes, 55 deadlifts, 55 wall ball shots, 55 cal row, 55 handstand push-ups. Men deadlifts, 225, and woman is 155. But the clue, if you guys can see, it says... Well, Dallas will put Dallas I know, screen. he'll put it up. Okay, well, th- maybe Dallas... I- I'm trying to be helpful. Good job. We got all gender restroom, and it has, like the different like symbols for the genders and it says anyone can use this restroom regardless of gender identity or expression can i just say something before we go forward she's gonna hate on me right now no i'm not i'm not gonna hate on you (laughs) i'm saying something that's gonna help you okay let's so first time i scrolled through these clues i was like i didn't see it i didn't see the the resemblance of the clues to the workout and then I changed my perspective. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yep. And I realized that the clues don't relate to the workout, like the movements or like the rep scheme a lot of the time. It's like the theme of the workout. Mm-hmm. So like for this one, I realized it's like an all gender restroom. And typically on um, when there's like calories or like, different maybe like obviously we have different weights but like there's a girl and guy variation Mm -hmm. particularly with like ring muscle ups or legless rope climbs but in this workout with the calorie row there's one calorie variation so it's just but there's two deadlift weights and two wall ball weights and i know but like the rep scheme doesn't change for both genders that's true that's the only that's the like the only thing that i can see the clue relates to yeah like when i think of like the like if i just saw that and i had to come up with the workout like okay all gender restroom i'm like okay everyone's going to be doing the same thing they are Mm -hmm. okay but i would i know but i would just i would pick something of like like double unders burpees shuttle runs like where it's like everyone's legit doing like like that's how my mind works i'm just saying like you gotta think of crossfit and they don't make sense a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one, I, but, I saw all gender, but then four, there are four pe- people four on the thing. Things. So there, I thought, oh, there are four movements. With, with, there's a little oh, baby. There's a little baby. baby and there's a little good baby. At handstand push ups, little limbs. <laughs> there's a guy, girl. Maybe that means. That's that's where the, like, the different weight thing would come into issue. Yeah. With, because then there's a guy who would typically be better at the row and then there's a girl who would be better at the warbles. Yeah. Because girls are good at squatting. At, and, yeah, at reading into it more, I'm like, oh, when you go into a bathroom, like, regardless of your height or whatever, the toilet seat is the same height from the floor <laughs> no matter what, baby, no matter what. Not always, not if you're in Japan. Well, no, if it's an all-gender restroom, like, we go into it, it's the same toilet for you as it is for me. Do we just... Okay, a little bit of sidetrack. We just went to a restaurant in Boise, and there's one restroom for guys and girls. Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, it was cool. <laughs> you, like, walked in. There was, like, a big open room, and then there was, like, six I stalls like in the him. back. <laughs> it was weird. It felt like, you, like for as a guy, because there's no, like, urinals. It felt like you were you getting walk in, you, you know, Dude, you're walking in the wrong restroom every time. It was weird. <laughs> Anyways. So the right. next one, 17.3? Yeah, 17.3. This one actually kind of, like, made sense to me. Me too. So it was the the clue is a deck of cards kind of all scattered out on like on a piece of, on a table, and then the workout was um, like you have to complete a, like three rounds of the workout in a certain amount of time to advance to the next. But the rep scheme changes every single round, and I think but it always the, equals twelve. Yeah, I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Dang. You're so Ellie's out here blowing minds. Australians, man. Dang, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Always equals twelve. 
But I would just say, like, it's such a mix up of numbers. Is like that's why I'm like the cards make sense of like man, there's so many different like reps and and how they all kind of like mesh together. Yeah, and like we wouldn't have known this before, but like there's an eight turned over. There's a, mm-hmm. a you know a three, a six. Um, there's none. There's, there's no. A seven. There's no cards turned over that aren't in the reps. Yeah. Do you think he took that picture, or do you think it's like he found that picture? It, it's probably um, just like a stock photo, I would assume. Uh, he probably took it. It's kind of weird, though, how like, the numbers work out, though. Another, well, another thing about the cards that are flipped over, like whether or not you can get the rep scheme from the numbers that are laid out, <clears throat> it's like there are a certain number of cards flipped over, and then there are a lot of cards that are not flipped Is there over. Is 12 cards flipped over? There's 12 cards flipped over. Yeah, so he definitely took he definitely yeah, that's smart. That's pretty cool. But then look at all the cards that are not flipped over. It's like for a lot of people, they're going to get some of the reps in this workout, but then they're going to get cut off. So yeah. a lot of those reps that are in the workout, they're never going to see. It's like the cards you don't see as well. But mm-hmm. That one makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> in retrospect. I don't know that you could guess that. But. I know. Next one. We got 17.1. Ooh. This is the one that <laughs> Dallas said that he, <laughs> he knew it like the – clue clicked to him like in the middle of the workout (laughs) it's 17.1 i actually need to show you (laughs) every time he's done it every time i'm gonna keep doing it now my favorite thing is to pick out justin's flaws (laughs) keep that man humble because she likes tough games there's not many of them yeah that's that was good Good. it's a good comeback i'll take it yeah but anyways, 17.1. <laughs> I like I have vivid memories of uh, this workout. I actually did this workout. I was this was my senior year in high school and I did it Thursday right when it came out. It was Pat and Brent that did it. And there must have been a mix up on that announcement because they Obviously. did Obviously. <laughs> they did all their dumbbell snatches like where they couldn't touch and go them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they like set it on the ground and then went. But like my high school brain was like, dang, I'm fitter than them. I'm going to touch and go them. So <laughs> I did the workout like right after them and I beat their score like that Thursday night. And I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> like, <laughs> and anyways, that like everyone got way faster in that workout. But I did it on Thursday night, right when it came out, and then I had to make weight the next day for a state tournament for wrestling. That's crazy. It was just weird. I like have a vivid memory, and then my first ever open announcement I ever did was a retest of this workout, and the clue that he gave was a gargoyle. And Dallas, you don't have a mic, huh? Yeah. Anyways, he doesn't have a mic, but he said in the middle of the workout, like the gargoyles, like all hunched over, <laughs> and you can see his back. And Dallas was like. He said his back was wrecked. He said he went to retest the workout and just, like, couldn't even get off the ground, like, doing burpees and stuff. Like, his back was just, like, completely cramping up, just blasted. But, yeah, that was, like, in retrospect, looking back, like, man, that makes sense. But I remember looking at this, like, right when he announced it, like, not being able to figure it out for the life of me. Like, I was, like, looking into, like, the words that were on the, like, because it's a book, right? Yeah. Like, I was, like, I remember people talking about, like, the, it says, like, the modern library classics. Yeah. And there's, like, some person, like, jumping, and it kind of looks like they have, like, a rope. People are thinking, like, maybe double unders. And, like, it was just, yeah, I don't know. I remember looking at it, and I never thought about. Do you know a funny thing about this? (laughs) 17.1. I actually did this workout before I'd even heard of CrossFit. Oh, like somebody put you like, oh, try I had this. a I had a personal trainer at the time that I was like just doing some like random classes with. And he did this workout for us. And I remember I, I think I probably used like a 20 pound dumbbell. Like I was not strong at the time at all. And it took me so long. And then when it came up in 20... That's when you yeah, did was, your open was, announcement. Uh, 21. 21. 21. I actually 21. got second worldwide in that workout. Damn. Holy smokes. That's, That's a crazy. nasty workout. Because I remember I when I did it that year, I don't mm. know if I beat the 
best time from 2017? No, nah, best he, best time no, was 9.58. Justin got 10.01. Uh, so I was like really oh, close yeah, to it. So I remember I was really close. And then people, when they retested it, man, that's what's I think really cool it's about crazy. the Open is when we retest workouts. And I like when they give time in between. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what one we just showed, six, 15 point or 16 point something. They yeah, retested Ellie the said next the next year, year they did it. It's again. just like, there's not enough time to see like progress on it. Yeah. And like when they give it at least like three years, I think is like a good kind of time. Cause it's enough time to like, for people to see a lot of progress or even like two years, you know? Yeah. Um, well, and, even and, like, and I guess, I guess a year you can really see a lot of progress for people that like, if that was their first open and they get to, yeah. they stick with CrossFit for a full year and then get to retest it the next year. So I guess I do see that, but, um, I mean, well, even like the workout you did the other day, what was it? 13.1. With the snatches. Yeah, oh, yeah. And we yeah. looked at the female weights and it's like they started with a 40 pound, 45 pound barbell yeah. and then yeah, ended at 120. If you were to put female cross through, crossfitters through that now, like it would be. <laughs> yeah. It's just a totally different workout. I mean, I think that's one thing that's super cool about CrossFit is like they do that at all levels. Like yeah. we we do that in the open and we do it at semifinals and we've done it at the games. Like, isn't it uh, – is it Amanda that's 975? Yep. It's like snatching muscle ups. That's when like that famous video of Jason Kalipa Bro. freaking like running Yo. away with the barbell. We have to show that. That, Dude, was. that But like is. running away with the barbell. Like, like it's just like, video. it is, but it's just like, <laughs> it's not a knock on Jason at all. Like, I mean, he was literally the fittest person like in the world then. Like it was just, it's, it's crazy to see that like, that was the best of the best at that time. And like, now at CrossFit, we've done 13, 11, 9, 7, 5. And I think that we've, like, people were beating the times of 9, 7, 5. Yeah. But the like thing when is... they redid it at the games seven years later, like, it's just, it's so cool to see that, like, progress. And I think that's the only thing that, like, retesting workouts sucks. <laughs> like, Pat actually just posted um, something on his, like, feed talking about, like, why people should do the open. He's like, dude, I get nervous for it still every year, but you should still sign up. It's like that one time a year you get to compete, but. You get nervous because you care. It's like with the open, everybody's kind of a pioneer unless yeah. you've done the workout before. Like Jason Kaliba back in the days when they were doing those workouts, it's like the first time they've been done in that format yeah. to where you can't really be critical of them because it was like, how can you? Then? Dude, that's one of the still <laughs> like the sickest, I think, like rig layouts there was like yeah. just because we never seen, it was literally like a ball in the yeah. middle and then everyone it was, around it there was no <laughs> lane lines i was like it was like an arena like dude, you were just in there duking it out yeah, nobody knew where so anybody was, was it, I, is that in carson or where was that i think so it was it was the home depot center at the time dude but they i don't know like laid it out like they did it was awesome. so no. cool just, though yeah. i mean it would be hard to run like now at the cross again because there's so many people but like man i would love like they, they're doing cuts and stuff now but it would be cool if they went back and showed that, like, setup again. It's, it's, it doesn't really make sense. But, like, hey, dude, everyone's the same. I mean, everyone has to go back to the middle yeah. and then go back out. And I think it's just a really cool layout. Especially, like, throwback to, I think that was 2010, right? Or 9? 10. I think that was 10. I don't they know. They should do a version where it's just, like, a free-for-all. And you just get to go wherever you want. <laughs> and then you can steal people's bars and stuff. Like, like Hungry Hungry Hippos or something? Yeah. Like, you gotta just, like, da, 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 da. Whoever gets back to the... You'd Rick find out versus. who's like who's like everyone's least favorite competitor because like I think people would team up to like box out people. Yeah, but then Jason just never gets back on the <laughs> on the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'd do that for sure. Yeah, you like time it just perfectly to where right when they get off. You it honestly, like, dude, well, like that's shout the out. only person you could convince everyone else to like gang up on, right? The dude, next one so. is eighteen point two. Which was one to ten reps of dumbbell squats and bar facing burpees, and then uh, you have a one rep max clean, and there's a twelve minute cap. So remaining time after you've done the workout, you get to do one rep max clean. And the clue is just like a burning fire. Do you want me to stop talking? <laughs> no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> They were with you. We were separate. We were sidebar. One to ten for time. I've already settled that if you're I know. listening. I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Well. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> this is what I love doing to Ellie. <laughs> she likes picking up my flaws. <laughs> it's like poking her. <laughs> yeah, but you all know who the winner is at the end of the day. Yo, I, listen, this one I feel like makes sense, if I'm being honest. It's just honest. Bernie. It, yeah, but there's like a structure to the burn a little bit, right? You know what I mean? It's not just a log across the middle. I wish Dave would just go back and like explain his hints. Well, let's tell him, well, Dave, that, go that, back and That explain takes away hint. from the like... This part of it? I guess. It's so fun thinking about though. Mm. But like for that workout, there's not really a reason to stop. Like it's, there's, it's not very high rep dumbbell squats and it's relatively light. And then you can always do one more burpee. Yeah. So like, it's just burny. Like it's just. I know, but like how, like there's no way you would like get, like I feel like the clue would have to be like, oh, a two part workout. And it's like. I don't know, like that's Bernie, but then it's also like a one rep max clean. Like, like there's no clue. I think that. that's. Yeah. I think that's where because Bernie would be like, you know, f- you got to fire that in fuego, baby. Like the the flame mm-hmm. is burning. He could just show the fire, but this is like burnt out. Like it's it's done. It's just smoldered embers. It's just so then, like festering. So like they're gonna like burn. Like you're gonna like burn and, yourself completely out. And then you got and something. And then you're gonna try to do something. Yeah. yeah. I guess. This next one I had. This it, the only. The eighteen point three, yeah, three. Let's the only thing was that there was two flowers and it's two rounds. Here, yeah. wait, I'll show everybody so they, so they know. Oh, read it, read it, read it. <laughs> okay, it's a uh, eighteen point three. It's got two. Um, what kind of flowers would you say those are? They're um, daisies, lilies. No, they're no, not, not lilies. lilies. I think they're daisies. I think we got daisies. two pink daisies in a white polka dot cup. And it's two rounds for time of 100 double unders, 20 overhead squats, 100 dubs, 12 ring muscle ups, 100 dubs, 20 dumbbell snatch, 100 double unders, 12 bar muscle ups with a time cap of 14 minutes. Which is crazy. People finished two rounds of that workout. That's Back a dope then. ass workout. It's cool. We just retested it. I know. We you did. guys killed that too. I think, of course, the two couplet, like, or two rounds, two rounds, two rounds, and then. I was like, oh, a lot of pedals. There are a lot of different movements. That's what, yeah. That could, that could be some action. No, he said like he probably takes the pictures. Imagine Dave getting a white, like going to the store, <laughs> getting a white polka dot cup. He probably gave <laughs> Two flowers. To his wife. What's up, Jesse? That's a rally right there. Ready? Level setup. Yeah. Want to say hi to the people? Look at that. Hello, world. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, world. Hi, people. What's Jesse, up? Jesse's everywhere. He's everywhere. Do you want to train today? Yeah. What? Okay. Are you free? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm basically staying with my Wednesday schedule. Sweet. I'm working until I got out of that team. Yeah. Yeah, we like okay. 3, 3.30. Okay, I'll let you go. See ya. I got so much fun. Uh, it's fine. Uh, okay, next one. <laughs> I don't like spending too much time on things. Okay. 18.4. This is my favorite because there's a little dog in here. <laughs> okay, so we got a, little, a little sniffer with for time. an egg. Four time. Four time. 21, 15, 9. Handstand push-ups and deadlifts at 225 and 155. And then it goes to 21, 15, 9 deadlifts at 315 I feel like maybe 205 for females. And instead of the handstand push-ups, you have a 50-foot handstand walk in between the deadlifts with a nine-minute time cap. And the clue um, is a little dog and an egg. I think the only thing that I got is like it's uh, the eggs you're noggins so and don't freaking snap your neck on those all the handstand push-ups. Mm. <laughs> What I do don't think? know. Maybe. You no. just gotta. I think a, of. Ooh. You just gotta be a dog. <laughs> I just think of like the, the <laughs> egg the is like bit. balancing. Yeah, I, I thought egg, like, you know, you can do well, that. Well, like, even look at it. It's just race. like, it's like balancing up there. So I think that's. That's the handstand. I could see walk. how you can be like, it's handstand walk. How's the, how's the dog in the. Uh, for I don't that? know. I'm trying to think what the dog. I always think of like like there's always maybe that the thing dog's, about like maybe the dog's dead. Chill. 
I was just thinking about like the gold like. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like Dead. how like golden retrievers like like you give them an egg and then like hold it mm-hmm. it's like fragile well, they I don't know to but I don't know Theo didn't <laughs> Theo did not he just ate 12 of them he does have a very soft he does touch very I don't know soft. what the dog would have to do in this at all yeah I don't understand the dog part the egg the egg got me like I, I thought for time oh, because the egg like that egg race I just thought of yeah, that. Like balancing. If we're missing anything and you guys got ideas, put them in the comments. Because some of these, <laughs> like, if I saw this first, I mean, I don't even know what I would think. Well, I mean, it's like the one from this year. Like, I know. We're going to get to that one again. Yeah, we will. Okay. Next. All right. On. Next one. This one, I have zero idea. This 20.1. I- 10 rounds for time. Eight ground overhead. 10 bar facing burpees. And it's a picture of two I gotta go miniature back. horses. I got to I think, or the donkeys. No, Do you know those what? Are, those are miniatures. It's this workout is good for people with short limbs. Yeah, I think that's what the short thing is. Yeah, and I also think that um, you see horses, which you think horse race or running free, but it's like it looks like a track behind them, so it it made me think like for time again. Or or the combination of their legs eight. How many f- how many posts are there in the back? Mm, that's pretty good. There are ten posts. Are there? If you split it in half. If you split them in half, there's ten posts. They go just. I just did it right there. Dude, that's pretty good. I mean, if that's, I just like <laughs> wish we knew like how he, how he no, does that's it. That's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. Like, is he like looking at like things like that to like try to pull from the workout, or is it like symbolism? Like, oh, the horses, they're they're short, or like. I mean that. I mean, it's, it's way better. Like, if so, he could have picked anything that had two objects and then ten in yeah. the back. All right, let's move through. We got, we got we got three Ooh, more. This one, easy peasy. This okay. one makes sense. Twenty point. Pick your poison. Like, yeah. you pick your fork or your spoon. You yeah. pick how you want to do the workout. Yeah. Read the workout. 20.5, four time, partition any way you want. 40 muscle ups, 80 cal row, 120 wall ball shots. I did not see that. I mean, it's like the spork thing where there's a spoon on one side, fork on the other. Yeah. Which that makes a lot of sense. I think the way I think that it. makes sense. Like, like you, you get to this pick how you want to do it. Cause it's partitioned anyway. You can do just like in order of how it shows, break it up into ten rounds, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Which I think was a pretty cool way to do the open. That's, I mean, it's hard for people in classes though. Cause do you know? Do you know they so did many this options. before uh, the Torium Pro was a semifinal? Like, is it twenty? Because this was still doing sanctionals at this time. Yeah. They did this workout as the first workout of their competition. Damn. That's pretty cool, huh? That is cool. Do you remember doing this workout? No, I actually. Oh, yeah. I did it at your gym. No, oh, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. How'd you do it? I, I don't know, but I remember, remember I got the 15-pound plate <laughs> yeah. and I, like, screwed it on to the rig. We didn't have any, like, yeah, walls that were close to the rig for the wall balls. And then there was no wall ball targets on the rig, so I just got a plate. And then a bolt and a really big washer <laughs> and just bolted it onto the rig at 10 feet and then use that as a wall ball target. So That's if you guys so are in a pinch, you guys can use that for your wall ball target. That just get so the smart. plate and a big washer and a bolt and nut. Justin just shows up at the gym with his own plate, like one 15 pounder. Yeah. I had that 15 pounder for like six years, bro. <laughs> like I, I don't know where it went. I don't I, think I had it for a long time. Yeah. I don't know where, I don't it, know is where now. it is now. <laughs> just turn that thing into a trophy dog. Okay. That was a good one. All right, next one. That's that's probably the best clue that I've seen. That, like, I feel this like makes this, perfect this next sense. one's pretty good too. Yeah, the twenty-three point oh, yeah, yeah. two. Twenty-three point two. Yeah. I don't even know. Like, what is that thing? That's what I it mean, is. I mean, it's just like a. But it's the thing that you put like a marble in, right? And it just like it's like yeah, one of it, those. It goes side to side all the way back down. Like shuttle runs. Yeah, and then. That would be uh, Hold on, read the workout. Read. The yeah, workout. no, it's a two-part workout. Part A and B. Part A is a fifteen-minute. AMRAP with five burpee pull-ups and 10 shuttle runs where one rep is 25 down and back. And you add five burpees every single round. So the first round's five and 10, then 10 and 10, 15 and 10, so on. Uh, then part B is immediately following it. You'll have five minutes to establish a one rep max thruster from the floor. That workout was really bad. Yeah. It was a good one though. I think it was really cool. I think it was a cool like, idea. Yeah. We've talked about so many times, like, or at least Adam has. I have not, but 
trying to figure out a way for online competition to like build running into it, you know? And Adam's talked about shuttle runs for a long time. And finally, like you're able to kind of test that. Cause I think that's a very crucial part of fitness that it's so hard to test because like people can go run and like everyone's 400 meters is different. Some people are on a hill, some aren't, but like a shuttle run, everyone's pretty much the same on that, which I thought was a really, really cool thing to like kind of add in to the fold. Um, and I think just like obviously looking at it, it's just like that back and forth. All right. Well, going to, I don't know how that one, you get the thruster part though, but the shuttle run I think is, uh, maybe like it's the, very, the thruster, very good. maybe that white bar in the back. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But I mean, like, you're not going to, it's hard to give a clue that gives like the whole workout away, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I yeah. think he the, like at least you get to see like, Oh shoot, there's going to be shuttle runs, a lot I of think, back and forth. And I think that's what the thing is like the main piece. Like yeah. that was when they introduced shuttle runs for the in first the open. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it was that awesome. is the clue. All right. Last one, we got 23.3, and it's um, a passage from the book, The Hunter and the Woodman, and the workout was starting with a six-minute time cap, complete as many reps as possible of five wall walks, 50 double-unders, 15 snatches, and then five, 50, 12 snatches at the second weight, and then if you complete that before the six-minute time cap, you add three minutes to the time cap and complete 20 strict handstand push-ups, 50 dubs, nine snatches, and so on until you reach weight four and finish the workout. It started at 95 for guys, 65 for girls, and it ended at 225 for guys, 155 for the ladies. Um, I feel like a lot of people thought this clue made sense. Yeah, like the hunter. Like you've got to make the next. Like you're being hunted by the time. Yeah. yeah. You've got to make that next. Yeah. But yeah, I remember I remember thinking that for this one or talking to people and them saying like it's going to be one where like you in order to advance you're going to have to like beat the time. I think you're talking to me about it cuz I was always right. <laughs> hey, maybe. <laughs> and it's like you're pushing for something but you really don't want to get there. Yeah. <laughs> like you think you it's want always, that thing but now you got you got some more work, like baby. That quick like <laughs> change of mindset you're like oh i really want to get there like doing everything and then you make it and you're like oh frick sugar oh sugar <laughs> oh sugar biscuits now i have to do more work see you that is that is a fun part of those kind of workouts where it's like you see that in people all the time when they're doing the open workout and they they're they're pushing as hard as they absolutely can to get there and they fit. I remember watching Sun like barely make that chest bar workout. <laughs> and then you're like, well, that was all I had. He so. barely makes it. And then he's like, all right, come on, 21s. And it's like, oh, my God. They're dead. <laughs> this all dude's right. going in. So now we are on 24.1. I'm on Dave's Instagram. Yeah, you hold that photo up. It is the mushroom. <laughs> if you look, dude, there's freaking over 2,000 comments which is awesome. I commented on it pretty early on and I said, all right guys, let's figure this one out. And I think we had like, there what some, is it? There Almost motion. like 40, like 40 responses. And it was cool. Dude, there's some people in there that had some things that I was like, man, they're on to something. I know. I know. I, I looked at Chandler. Dude, did was, you see Chandler? His, his, it's just so detailed. It was elaborate. Know. Yeah. Like, he I don't always know. does elaborate ones. though, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know. That's the first time I've seen uh, him. I'm pretty sure he does. That uh, he went in on that, like for real. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a joke, like when I first started reading it, and I'm like, I mean, it, he's kind of joking, yeah, but it also he was really, like he really was pulling it out. I I didn't know that was the mushroom for Mario until I I still don't know that is that true. Yeah, that's I mean, I think that's mushroom. the type of Mario mushroom that is. I didn't. Think, so many people commented that. Yeah, which they were saying jump. Yeah, I, like tripping balls was another like oh yeah you'll be. Tripping, but didn't you say tripping. this wasn't a psychedelic mushroom? I don't know. I think it is. I think it is. You said that? I thought someone told me it's it's actually not a psychedelic mushroom. It's and It's poisonous. One that, yeah, it's poisonous. Yeah. Like yeah. It'll kill you. Yeah. So yeah. you were saying like a death by, but I'm like, I don't I don't know how. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But I don't know how you could do a death by in the open. A death by what? I think it could be. Like, I remember um, Wadapalooza did a workout. It was one of my worst workouts I've done and it was like I forgot the rep scheme, but it was like eight burpee box jump overs, eight hang snatches, eight thrusters. Oh yeah. And it was on a two minute <laughs> timer. And if you make it, you have another two minutes. If you make it, you have another two minutes. And you just go till you can't yeah, that, finish the they work. Did that I mean, as a qualifier. 
But dude, it took, I think I made it to like the 24 minute mark. And it's just like in the beginning, like you can get that workout done in a minute. Well, that's how they would do a death lap. Yeah. I know. But I, I know that's what I'm saying. That's the way that I think they could do it is like, I got that workout done in a minute, but I was taking like a minute 15, a minute 20 to like conserve myself. And you do that for a handful of rounds. And then by the end, it's just like, it starts going to 130, 140, yeah. 150. Then yeah. you like, you finally barely make it. And then you have to get like some change in the rest. And then it's like AMRAP in that yeah. last two minutes. The only thing that's hard about that is that not everyone, like that's not a good workout for everybody. Yeah. Cause like that workout's very like to the like competitor. Yeah. Because, cause, cause like if like my mom tried to do that workout, like th there's no way she can do it. And that's why I don't, I don't think there'd be a death by well, she could, but she would just get a couple rounds. But that's not. I don't well, even like know if she would get, get a one. couple. She might get one. There yeah, was an true. open that's workout. True. Like, it, like it's a, it's a hard and then way if to they do make a death it by. Easy enough for everyone to be able to get a yeah. few rounds. Then, then like, the elites are just going for like fifty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's going to be a death by, but I like the idea. Yeah. I thought. I mean, it's a. It's I thought a about cat. like. The, I thought about like the beep test. No, bro. I that was like, dude, that would be gnarly. There'd be so many ties. But well, just with it, a you'd have to five foot shuttle. Yeah, but you would have to find a way to uh, have a tie break, like a part two. It'd be like whenever you finish, whenever you capped out, you had five minutes to do max burpees or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that like would it. be that would be terrible. Yeah, dude, it's really cool looking through some of the comments. I mean, obviously, there's some people that are joking around. Freaking Chandler's comment got two thousand likes. Yeah, Chandler's went in. It was awesome. Scott and Nikki, there's like some of our friends here in Boise and they um, write for Morning Chalk Up and stuff. And they were, had another person from their crew that, which I thought was a sick idea, which they posted I posted it today. It's oh, they did post it today. Oh, it's not theirs. I think it's he. I know it's not theirs, but they were telling me about it, yeah. that they were going to do it. And I, I really want to read it. But um, one of their people from their crew put that picture into chat GBT. And then they entered like every movement that's ever been done in the CrossFit <laughs> Open, so and then tight. asked ChatGBT to come up with a workout based on that image with all those what movements. What does GBT stand for? GPT. GPT. Yeah. I actually don't know what it stands for? for. I don't know. Whenever someone says that, I just think of a GP. A GP. Like a doctor. Dallas is looking at it. Dallas right looking up. But anyways, like I was like, dude, and then he was telling me some of the workouts that it came up with, and they made so much sense. But it was like kind of one of those things, like once you see the workout and then you try to compare it to the mushroom, I was like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to do that. But like, that's obviously their idea if I want to do it. But what I wanted to do is maybe we can do this next week once we start getting clues, but plug in some old open workouts and then ask them to generate an image based off that workout and see if it gives us clues like Dave's already posted. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like if we put in 17.1 so with the dumbbell the snatches and uh, like the one with the gargoyle. And then they you... give the exact same That would be crazy. <laughs> image. Maybe Dave Castro is the one that invented chat okay. GPT. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Generated a pre-trained transformers. Jeez. Hang on. Sorry. Repeat that. Generative pre-trained transformers. I'm just thinking of like transformers. Generative pre-trained like transformers. Optimus Prime and yeah. Bumblebee. So That's what I'm thinking of. That's how dumb I generative am. Generative pre trained Transformers. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. I didn't get it. <laughs> well, it's a. Did anyone else get it? It's an algorithm based. Um, generative pre. So they're like pre. You put in a question, it generates based on. And all parameters. the information is already in there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not it's not open AI. Yeah. Where it's I think like it can use the entire world as a resource. It's like it has constraints. So how do you turn the constraints off? What's that? That's <laughs> they, AI. They're doing don't, don't that. Do that. Yeah, they're yeah. They, they are doing that, but it's we're not. There I was yet. looking through the the <laughs> comments of uh of Dave's <laughs> post. Some uh guy named Brooks K fourteen. He should he put mushrooms, Mario, running and jumping, shuttle runs and burpee box jump overs. Hmm. That's not bad. Do, do they like? But it, I, that's like that's a like lot a, of carbs. Yeah, but I don't think they do that because I already did like shuttle runs and burpee pull-ups. But do you link CrossFit to Mario? Like you're gonna use Mario as 
No, like Dave said he didn't want to post it because it's, he thinks it's going to be too obvious. But I like I, I don't think like there's not like a single consensus like in everybody. So I don't think it's obvious cuz I, I can't think of anything like specific. Dude, Google like, I think of like time cap. Yeah. Like I workout. Think cap. I think like that's Hang on. You know how Mario I think Burpee box jump overs it has to be because Mario jumps on the mushroom and then he goes <laughs> over the other side. It's like a box. No, he hit he jumps up, hits his head on the box. The mushroom comes out. But then and he then jumps he gets on the, the mushroom. Yeah, but he jumps on the mushroom. Or no, just runs into he it. He runs into it. Does he? Yeah. yeah. I thought I And the mu- the OG that. Mario mushrooms are not that color. They're they're like brown and dark brown. Like orangey brown. Wow. Are they? Yeah. You must be old, old. I'm old, old. I'm hella old, bro. <laughs> the mushroom is clearly a symbol of an obstacle that you have to surpass, like in Mario, clearly stating that there will be a box in the workout. This fungus, yes. the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, it's toxic and potentially deadly, aka how the workout will make us feel afterwards. You pick up the mushroom, mm-hmm. deadlifts, or jump over them, box jump. There is no escape. Bosman said this year open is going to be extremely accessible for everyone. Thus, my guess of the workout is 14.3 repeat, AMRAP in eight minutes, 10 deadlifts, 15 box jumps, 15 deadlifts, 15 box jumps, 20 deadlifts, 15 box jumps, oh, and I so on. And workout. it increases in deadlift weight. And it's fight your way to get to the last bar. Mm, I, I was I, like, if, if it's the Mario, if it's a Mario reference, I can really see that being it. We gotta but, see if we gotta see if Dave plays cart, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably nasty. He's probably nasty on it. <laughs> Who do you think his character is? What's Dave's Mario character? Bowser. You think no, so? I, yeah. You don't think? Like princess. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what, what? <laughs> Zach plays with. <laughs> what? That's only because you like. No, you, know, you play with uh, Cat Peach. Cat Peach. Come on. Meow. 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 <laughs> Every yeah. time, every time he, she pr- goes off a jump, it, like she like twists. She goes, yeah, oh. yeah. She be throwing it back. <laughs> She's throwing it back. <laughs> Cat feet's going around. I, I play with uh, I play with White Yoshi. I unlocked all the gold, so I got White Yoshi with uh, every time like, you the pick it, white... it goes round, 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 and then I have like the little the old yeah, school racing cart. Yeah, with gold tires and the gold glider. Looks sick. Your setup is pretty dope. It looks cool. Yeah. I just go. I just go for style points. You know. I. But what do you think is is actually? Peach. I, th- I think. Uh, it, no, no. Pe- is that I think he's basic thing? and just plays with Mario. I think he would play with Mario. I too. think he plays with Mario. Yeah. I think so. But I think he's trash at it. We'll see. <laughs> I, who else plays Kart for real? Like. Yeah, I wonder, dude. I literally, I didn't play a lot of video games growing up. I had a PlayStation Two when I was little, and then I didn't really play much. I played like MX versus ATV Unleashed. All the time. Mm-hmm. And then, other than that, I didn't really play much. My parents got a Wii, so I played Wii <laughs> Dave Sports. Dave got the whole space talking about his mushroom tip. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading comments. Um, was that Sia? That was Theo. Who's Sia? Sia. And then, Sia! Uh, mushroom. Or, you got the Wii, and that's when you got into Mario Kart? Yeah, then I started playing Mario Kart, and then I haven't played the Wii in forever, and then the Switch came out, and then someone told me that they have Mario on it, and I was like, well, I got to get that. So now all I have on my Switch is Mario and freaking Nintendo Sports or whatever it's called. Look at her. She's getting so uneasy because she doesn't even play Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just – I just she's, I zoned out five minutes ago. She's so garbage at it, and if she's bad at something, she's like, screw that. <laughs> I'm z- I zoned out five minutes ago. Yeah, but it, dude, cart oh. is next level. Shout yeah, out, dude. Hey, cart. dude, know what we should do? You can play online games. We should like do. We should race. People. Come on, come on. Hey, in the comment section, write down well, your setup, you bro. Yeah, right, yeah, write, write down, down your, your setup. setup. Like, who's your character? Who's uh-huh. your cart? And if there's enough people, because there could be absolutely nobody that plays cart out there. Hey, let's get. But em. we'll play an online game versus. You guys, if yeah. you guys have the Switch. Because yeah. we can play, what, we'll have three of us mm-hmm. and then nine other people. Am I not included? You don't want to play. You just said you hated <laughs> yeah, the game, so you're out. You don't get to play. I still want to I still want to be, I still Je- yeah, be invited. Je- Jesse will play. So we got wanna... us yeah, four invited, and then we can have eight eight other Hang people. On. You can be the commentator. Hold on. Who's your character? <laughs> Bowser? No, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a Bowser. Dude, we found out that Bowser's the fastest character. No, no, Dry Bowser. Yeah, Dry, dry Bowser. Dry Bowser with the cart that I run and Why would you metal not do that, metal wheels because it's his Faster speed's high, but is it like 
is acceleration slow and mm, yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to race with them one time and see how it is. I feel like once you get a setup, yeah. you kind of just have to let yeah. it be. You I just mess honestly, I just copied Justin because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh yeah, so no, just, she just runs the same setup as me, but changes the color of uh, Yoshi. Yeah. You should have. You should ride with Baby Ouija. He's gangster. Yeah. Baby <laughs> Ouija, like some Baby Ouija, and you could pick any cart, but Baby Ouija is tight. Maybe we should definitely do that. I'm really excited about that now. I really hope there's other people in the chat that play Mario. I know me too. I get to I get That'd to play with fun. um the child lock on there. Yeah, 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 you can play with that. <laughs> yeah, you fine. can play with that. It doesn't even help. Worse. We'll do like a, a <laughs> it is four. not it's <laughs> not when you go off the edge all the time, it's way better. <laughs> it's it's I every time I turn it's like Yeah, it's so hard. Yeah. I don't like it's that. It's good. It's good. Because I just ram like cause it, there's a barrier to the side, so I just I'm just up against that the whole time and you just Follow just that. boost, 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 boost. Yeah, you just follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, are are you uh? Cause we're like getting close. To the, are you excited for the open? Or you don't even care. No, I'm freaking. I'm nervous for the open. That's tight. Every year. That's tight. It's crazy. I mean, like I I really like. I know we talked about it earlier with with Pat. Uh, his his little post that he made about the open. I thought it was just really cool. He explained it really well. He's like, hey, like. It's all right to be nervous. It's all right to have like pressure on yourself for the open, but like have fun with it. Like enjoy it. It's once a year. There's only three workouts and like sometimes like you don't improve. Like it's yeah. only three workouts. It's not a complete like well-rounded test of fitness, but it's still a chance to like test yourself. So like go out there, have fun, enjoy it. It's once a year and like enjoy it with like the community and stuff. That's like the open is like one of my favorite times of year to be a part of an affiliate. Yeah, like it's it's so cool to go in and like you get to see all those people like, dude, that's the person that cheats reps, and then like they have a judge now, and you're like, oh, he's gonna get it, he's finally gonna get it, you know, and uh, it's the person that shave reps or doesn't have good like, doesn't do depth. And I know that's not what CrossFit is, but that's part of being a part of a community, you know. Like there's just like those people, and then you have like your crew that like you want to beat, you want to do better than you want to improve on yourself. And I think just those Friday night lights when the whole gym's kind of in there working out and just like being in there, judging people, doing all that is just like some of the most fun that I've had in CrossFit for sure. I think Theo that, uh, outside. yo, me and son did, need to pee. um, what's it called? Uh, Fort Vancouver championship. Yeah. Yeah. When we did that, I think it was like a time when this thing was just happening, but undefined, um, or undisclosed, at least distance and running. Uh-huh. And that I always like stuff like that. Yeah. Like in competition, when you don't know how far you're going, it's just like turn around. I mean, it happened to you. Yeah, it happened to you. Yeah, it you did know, happen it to me to actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's still got scars from that very day. Dude, my toes He's are still messed now. up. My my I, like, I ran that and like going downhill. I was sending it pretty hard Yo, trying your to catch ankle, up to Matt. When you rolled that ankle, yeah, I rolled my ankle. Gnarly. Dude, and then I finished it, and I, like, <laughs> I remember I finished that. that. Ben, you rolled your ankle? Oh, yeah. bad. Yeah. I, like, finished it, and then I, you like, always crossed always roll your ankle. You need to get some meat on those little <laughs> kinkles. Like For real. Not a kinkle if it's, there's no meat. <laughs> I got <laughs> Anyways, dude, I freaking, like, shoved my toe to the front of my shoe so hard that when I finished, there was, like, my toe was, like, black and blue. Like, half of it, though. Mm -hmm. And then it, like... After a couple of weeks, it like died, and then I thought it would like eventually like grow out and like be good. Nope, it's just an ugly big toe now. It's, <laughs> it's just messed up. Like I used to play. It is. I used to play in cleats that were hella small. Always, like my yeah. whole life for football, and my every football season, like I would lose both big toes. Like they would just go. My toes would my middle toe and my index toe would be like crossed over by the end of the season, and I'd yeah. have to like work them back. I didn't like the foot talk. But they. <laughs> <laughs> they still grow back normal. I don't know how yours got damaged so bad that it's like it's crazy in your bone that's messed up. Dude, did you, have you seen like LeBron's feet? Yeah, bro, those alligator toes, bro. He his, his toes, like his big toes. <laughs> that's what happened I don't know if it's over too. or under, but like the dude's foot's so big, and I don't think there's like good shoes that are made that big. Mm. And like the toe box on him, like comes almost like to a point instead of being like round. So his foot is just like messed up and not ev once i saw that every time i watch him play i'm like how is he like yeah. feeling the floor with his foot like that they you don't he doesn't he floats <laughs> but i don't think the wide toe box hasn't made it outside of like functional fitness like no. it's not in it's definitely sports. becoming a lot 
more of a thing. Freaking <laughs> Zach, like I wear sweats all the time, and I wear them when I lift. Just kind of like I what think I do they look so tight. Fun. I like keeping <laughs> my knees warm. Yeah, that's a good like, technique. I'll wear knee sleeves just for the sake of keeping my knees warm, not for like the, the tension thing. That's why I wear sweats. And then during summer, I wear knee sleeves just because it gets too hot to wear sweats. But Zach was like, I want them to be tight like Justin's. Yeah. And I wear larges. Yeah. Justin's, so what, legs are, hey, Justin's legs are pretty thick, man. Okay. He's got so some thick thighs on If you wanted them to be tight, well, you yeah. go like a size down, maybe two sizes. What size did you get? As small as they go. Extra small, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they look like leggings. Yeah, they And he yeah. wears them. They're like once you point them out and you see that he's wearing them, you can definitely notice, but like I don't notice it right away when he wears it, which is kind of sad. I know. Well, well no, this, chill, 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 chill. The I sweats. Looked, I walked in and I instantly was like <laughs> I don't think guys just pick what? up on things. They're hella Are you wearing? Nah, they're hella tight and they only got like a little scruff in the knee which i like but they're just too tight to... you can you can tell that when he puts them on like all the seams crack yeah yeah and i have to go <clears throat> yeah they're yeah. like yeah you need to get mediums I, yeah, or smalls maybe but i, I think, think mediums small, i think small will be me i think i'm not huge man come on i'm listen i'm the one two three four i'm the um third biggest in my thigh region in this area right here. You should here. measure it. Who do you think's one? I think Justin's got Ellie. Barely. Barely. I do. But then I Ellie, think... after Ellie is me, and then after me, same distance from Ellie to me is distance from me to Dallas. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah. yeah, but he also squats twice the amount of I you. didn't say he's not strong. I just said, <laughs> all I said was my thighs aren't as small as Dallas. I didn't say he's not strong. That's so not what I said. Don't even look good, and they're not functional. I don't. I'm not big. <laughs> I'm not thick thigh like Ellie, and I'm not strong like Dallas. I'm stuck in the middle. Okay, but if if okay, so who's got the biggest legs? Justin. You just said me. Then, okay. Then you. Well, you gotta take. I think if you were to weigh my whole leg, <laughs> how are you gonna do that? Yeah, cause your well, ankles. You're gonna cut your. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah. I was getting yeah, to. Yeah, you got the thick I've ass got, ankles, girl. I've got bigger calves than you. <laughs> from knee to hip, I got you. From Ooh, knee down. I think it's tight, though. I think it's tight. And I don't think you make up the distance. I think you let it, your calves let you down. We'll close it out with who is going to win each open announcement. Oh, like. We don't even know the workout. It's hard. <clears throat> I know, but you just have a random guess. <laughs> <laughs> I hold on. Uh, Craig Craig did it the other week. I, who's in the first one? Bukowski, Adler, uh huh, Alexis, Raptus, and Alex Bazan. So if we assume I'm gonna go rowing is I'm gonna not go, in the first, I'm one. gonna go Adler just because I feel like his open finish is normally higher than those two. Brent normally doesn't do well in the open. Not a knock on his fitness at all, but he normally He's doesn't have a high big open. Boy. He's yeah. a big boy. He's a big boy. If there's no rowing, then. It, I mean, he tough. never has a great open okay. finish, but he's always no. It's just finished. it's just no talking about it. Just okay, go. Who who you say? Adler. 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 Go. Um, what were the, who who were the women? Alex Gazan, Alexis Raptus. Oh, I'm Gazan. I'm Gazan all day. I'll say right? Raptus. I'll say Raptus. <laughs> I love Alex. I'm going. Gazan. I'm going Raptus. For real? Yeah, she's, she's Gazan. I like her. She's so tight. Why do you like her? I like the way she competes. I like her. Hmm. She's I've never, I've never met she her. She bench but presses more than you. Chill. No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she actually does though. Does she? Yeah. Dude, she, she bench, bench presses like two seventy five. That's not good. more than me. <laughs> it's close. That's Come on. Close. That is close. That's really good. I like as an athlete the way she is out there. I like it. I've never met her, but yeah. I think no, she's, she's cool. cool. I've, I've trained with her before. Yeah, she seems cool. Second, me. second matchup. I'm just gonna say me. Second matchup. Colton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, Justin. that's that's I'm not even. I don't even think that's a question. Yeah, and I don't even know. Just, oh, but hold then. on, it, I don't think it's a question. Not because oh, I know Justin. It's just like, I mean, be real. I dude, I I actually, I mean, if I'm being real, I mean, I'm just picking it because I I got to pick me. But I have no idea what the workout is. But Colton, the past two years, has gotten third in the open and then fourth in the. Or he got fourth two years ago, third last year. Yeah, I, like that's the, great. The dudes, a freaking. There are three workouts, and there are some movements that he can mm. he'll kick your ass in he'll some. get first yeah. in the world some and literally the best in the world the 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 odds of those things coming up in one workout just perfectly made for him i don't think i don't think it works like that 
So we'll see, man. I, th- I think no matter what, it's going to be a real close race. Yeah. I guess no explanation, though. Okay. So all three of us, Justin? Yeah, Justin. Okay. Last one is I'll say Tia, Tia and Ariel. Because I feel like she's got something to prove. Yeah, I think Tia's going to be scary good this year. Yeah, I think she is, too. I just like Ariel so much. Yeah. <laughs> she's super cool. She's Ariel so tight. is super cool. Tia, I mean, I'll, Tia's I'm tight, not, too, but, you know, her, yeah. Yeah, I really like Ariel. story is like, I mean, it's kind of like the underdog story of just being like. Ariel's super nice. Yeah. Just going out there. And she trains with uh, Alex. Or like, is it Alex Gazan? Alex? No, Ariel Alex. trains by herself. Nah, she said they were training partners last year. I think they've worked out. They've worked, they, they, out. They've worked oh. out with each other. So I think yeah. Ariel's from uh, Salt Lake City. Isn't she? She's from Texas. Oh, well, she lives in Texas. Wasn't she? I don't know where they were. I'm losing it. I don't, I don't know. know where they were. Take that back. Who knows? But I'm still going to end it with a uh, the other guy's Tyson. Let's back. do it. Let's get it. Just I'm going to tell you guys something that blew my mind about. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about time travel. <laughs> time travel. Yeah. Oh, minutes. five I, minutes. I think I just saw this. Super you quick. A, you maybe just do it in one. Yeah. So time travel. I always like just like thinking about those things. And he said, if it's possible. So like the light. The reason why we can see, like, the light from the beginning of the universe – or not beginning of the universe, but, like, look back on, like – so when we look out at, like, these galaxies, mm-hmm. they – we're seeing them. Like, let's say it's, uh, like, a million light years away. We're seeing that, like – From a million – A million years, years ago. Because, like, in right now, the present, they're a million years yeah. farther. So but the sun right, could already be exploded. We just haven't gotten that information so, yet. Yeah. So if the sun yeah. exploded, it would take about eight minutes for us to know that it exploded. Gang, gang. Because that's how long it would take for us to see the light. Because light. And if you think about it, like, like think about sound. So, like, you can see an explosion happen way out, like, see it. And then later you're going to feel it, like, the. Yeah, yeah. Like, the shockwave. The shockwave from it. But, like, light also has okay, a speed. What's, what's the fact? I'm getting there. <laughs> so then, uh, so what happens is, is like, if you wanted to technically time travel into the past, you would have to find a way to travel faster than the speed of light. So That's you what? would be traveling. So like, let's say you went out like away from earth and you traveled like, it's like, like the light from when the dinosaurs were there is still like traveling out. Cause like people mm-hmm. are seeing us from a million years ago. They're seeing earth a million years ago. So they don't even know that we exist yet because mm-hmm. the light hasn't made it there yet, made it there yet. So technically those people are looking at earth and the dinosaurs are here right now. And they're like, well, there's no point in going because like freaking dinosaurs, there's no sign of, like intelligent life, mm-hmm. which I thought that was just really cool to think about. So like there yeah, could be other on. people out there that are looking at earth and there might be so far away that they don't even see that there's anybody living here. Like it's just like, Oh, it's a non-inhabited. And if planet. they did see, Super interesting. What's the fact? Hold on, look, look. If they did look and see, and they see a T Rex, like T Rex would look dumb as hell, bro. Like yeah. they look stupid. So yeah, I'm not making that journey to see this weird. Isn't that crazy? Like if you're looking at something a million light years away and you can see it, yeah. you're, you're seeing it a million years ago. Because in the present, they're technically a million years. Like I'm going to time travel soon. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was freaking. Yeah, you are. I am. Yeah, that's oh, so cool. You know, you low key, you time travel. Like, you know, sometimes you go to sleep, you wake up, you go out throughout your day, and you're like, hold on, what day is it? And they say, today's Tuesday, and you're like, oh, I thought it was Thursday. Yeah. You low-key just time travel <laughs> back, right? Low-key. You kind of did. Are you guys get out to mischief? He has the mop head, Uh huh. he just threw it downstairs. Good job, Theo. Smart guy. All right, cut it off. All right. I think we're almost out of time. Dude, I'm excited for the open. I'm excited, too. We're going to be... I'm headed out to the Arnold next week. Hell yeah. Or, yeah, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then the next week, we're going to be releasing videos, a bunch of them, just the whole week of the Open, setting up, going Dude, out to gyms. Open, baby. Hanging out. The whole crew's coming out. I got open. my friends, my family, Adam, Jesse, the whole crew's coming out. Ellie Turner. It's going to be awesome. Uh, let's go, ET. We'll release some podcast style videos, some training videos. We're going to be dropping into <laughs> gyms, doing all the things, showing cross it, setting up. The Shred Shed's getting a whole makeover. Ellie, Stay Ellie. tuned. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.